Hello, good afternoon. It's a deal for Zal here, market analysts at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the end of day's trading session on Friday, the 4th of August 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Okay, so let's look at the uh, market stats here. The FTSE 100 really was a stellar perf outperformer, uh, certainly finishing up 60 odd points up to 74, um, above 74. Okay, so certainly hitting that key key uh, resistance zone at uh, 7520 so very very impressive finish on the FTSE 100 today okay so finishing 7510 up 36 uh, in terms of the German DAX up 100 and whopping 143 points up 1.2 percent the French CAC certainly outshining as well up 1.4 percent the FTSE MIB the IBEX all certainly helped being helped by a weaker euro okay so that certainly is the uh, the status quo at present Okay, so European markets certainly pushing higher, even though Asian markets certainly were lackluster and weak, with the Nikkei and the Shanghai certainly being weaker as well. Okay, so let's try and decipher in terms of economic numbers. Uh, I think really the uh, the only uh, highlight really was the U.S. jobs data, jobs numbers coming in stronger than expected, which obviously triggered the dollar moving higher. Dollar moving higher caused sterling to move lower. The GBP USD, Euro USD, both moving lower, and that certainly in turn. Has helped the FTSE and the uh, euro to a large extent as well. Stronger jobs numbers from uh, the uh, US certainly has helped risk sentiment in terms of the FTSE, and it certainly seems that the FTSE uh, in the uh, FTSE traders certainly are focusing on the BOE, and they're expecting the BOE to certainly remain on pause and potentially uh, for the uh, unforeseeable future and longer than expected. Even though Mr. Bo BOE's broadband did actually was on the record this morning stating that uh, interest rate hikes are coming sooner than expected etc certainly uh, we see uh, exercising his hawkish tone and yet that wasn't is sufficient enough to actually uh, send the uh, the actual uh, pound higher so again that certainly remains the uh, current uh, status quo in terms of uh, the euro let's just have a look at the actual plunge here you can see from 1.19 all the way down to 1.1726 very very impressive plunge in terms of the uh, aussie and the you the Aussie certainly has recovered from the plunge itself. Let's look at the GBP USD. Uh, you can see here we were oscillating around the 1.1360 zone, and then obviously we fell more than 130 pips. So very very impressive sell off on the uh, GBP USD, which in turn it certainly seems like they're shifting focus to one towards a more dovish stance in terms of the uh, the actual BOE, and that's how they're interpreting it. My interpretation was certainly hawkish. So. Certainly been wrong thus far, okay, certainly been wrong thus far. It's one of the reasons why I've had a negative week, certainly have misread the market uh, uh, this week, okay, certainly haven't read the market correctly. Okay, so this is where we stand, and it certainly has been hard with the likes of uh, the uh, political situation or uncertainty in Washington, certainly uh, causing the gyrations in the dollar as well. Okay, so this is where we stand. Let's look at the uh, German DAX first and foremost. Daily chart of German DAX, a very impressive rally from that uh, pivot low. Okay, a bullish engulfing candle registered on the daily chart. 60 minute chart, we are now into resistance. That key resistance around the 12,320 where previous support equals resistance. Okay, certainly back into that key resistance. I'm certainly looking for a risk off here, especially given the fact that the Euro USD is now into support as well. 10 minute chart, certainly overstretched. You can see that we close that gap as well. Okay, around 12,300. Let's move on to the French CAC. French CAC certainly very stellar as well on the daily chart, slamming into that key diagonal trend line resistance. Again, we haven't closed the gap at 5,060, so watch out for the gap below. 60 minute chart, very impressive. Actually, going through and completing the inverted head and shoulders formation on the upside, closing the gap as well at 5,190. Very, very impressive. For now, you have horizontal resistance around this 5,210 zone. Again, looking for a reversal lower. In terms of the French CAC, okay. Uh, looking at the Euro stocks now, Euro stocks daily chart very impressive, thrusting and breaking through that key diagonal trend line resistance. Let's see how we uh, how the markets unfold from there. To 60 minute chart, you've actually broken past that key resistance at 3507, hit 3515 pivot high, even closed the gap as well. Very, very impressive thrust higher thus far, even though we had weaker earnings as well in the Eurozone. 10 minute chart again very very impressive thrust higher that's all i can say for now you can see that we had that pivot low this morning as well at 3460 and then it's actually running up 60 70 points so very very impressive and all on the back of a weaker euro 
In terms of the FTSE 100, from my perspective, you're certainly putting the doji towards the close. That certainly is a negative sign. You're actually close around that 7510 zone as well. Again, another negative sign. 60 minute chart is showing you double top. And the daily chart is showing you resistance as well. Okay, so certainly looking for risk off and uh, looking for the market certainly to move lower. Okay, so I think that's a good summation really of uh, European equities. Please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.